Now today's topic is IO management okay, in Java program. It's a very important concept. Okay, we also introduced the some file management concept in this chapter. First of all, we work on the just IO management, input output management in Java program. Okay, <coughs> so we start with one simple program. Okay, for IO we have to import Java dot IO package. Okay. I save I one dot Java. Plus I one public static void main string here. Okay, we already covered this method. Now in IO we have to work with buffer okay so we have to use the buffer reader class okay and we already use buffer reader class in our some programs so we have to import uh, sorry <coughs> use this concept IO exception First of all, we work on a read line method. Okay. Read line method return string value. Okay. <coughs> this read line method return a string value. Okay. In uh, our last program, we already used read line method in many programs, but we are working on this program. The program is find the area of circle using the red line method okay we already know the value of pi is 3.40 so i just put this pi value okay now i declare r variable the radius variable okay again i declare the area of circle variable now i want to put value in r in runtime so i declare buffer reader class okay in this buffer reader class <coughs> we have to pass one constructor okay in this constructor we have to pass the object of input stream reader okay this is the object of input stream reader Again, we have to pass system dot in object in this input stream reader construct. Okay, this is one line. We can separate this line. Okay, we can write this line or separate this line. Okay, now I create object of input. Reader. Okay. Now I just pass this object in this bracket. Okay. So, so you can write just one line, or you can also write in this program. Okay. But now, how can you use this br object in our program? Now, integer r is equal to br dot read line okay here r is equal to integer and br dot read line is vapor class string so we have to convert string class to integer data type okay so we need one method is called pass integer method okay we already know this method and we need integer class okay so <coughs> string it's a string class object okay 
you convert into integer real life. That's why we need the one method, pass integer method. In this method, we use the integer. Got it? And this one, the correlated line here. Enter radius. Okay. Now, area is equal to 5 into R into R. Okay. That's a very simple concept. Now, area of circle is equal to Let's see the output. Okay, here we see the one the redeclaration variable error. Okay, we already declare R in our program, so I cannot declare R in our program. Okay. Just put 50 steps and find the circle 9847. Ready? Need out.